how do you know if your engine has compression? You rotate the flywheel. See if you can hear it. That popping noise. Did you hear it? That's it. We'll do another one. Hold on. All right, test number two. You have the cooling head on instead of my thumb. Ready? Listen. Hear that sound? The glow plug's in the top. Let's listen. It's hard to turn over. Watch. Gets the top dead center. And it makes that popping sound. Alright. And we'll do another one. Hold on. Alright, so the only reason I had the engine apart was because I cleaned it. Um, <clears throat> but now I have on the exhaust, um, clutch bell, uh, the back of the crankcase that I put the easy start on. You need to take the easy start motor off though because you don't want it causing any resistance. I mean sure you can still hear it but you just want to be able to hear just this. It's going to be hard to turn over the clutch bell when it gets to top dead center. And you're going to hear this coming out of the exhaust. A little pop. All right, so there you go. That is the sound of what some compression sounds like in the engine. Um, and uh, I just cleaned it out. It's important after it sits that you clean it out before you do that. Uh, one is because it's going to cause extra friction if you do that, and two is because you're not really getting the true. Um, it's not going to be the truth. You know what I mean? Like if you have extra dirt and whatever in there, it might cause more friction. When you're going to think it's compression when it's really just resistance wearing down inside of the piston sleeve and piston and whatnot so anyway there you have it all right stay tuned for some more uh some more rc stuff videos and whatnot